all warmly welcome on SRTV Lab. Guys, here on SRTV, we talk about body function, which is physiology, and also anatomy. The body is made up of so many organs, like the heart, you get it? You say the chest with the whole circulatory system, the urinary system made up of the kidneys and other organs. To get it, here is the river with all its parts. Get it on where it's located within the body. Here we see the stomach and where it's located within the body. And here are the lungs, which are part of the respiratory system and where they are found within the body. Do you get it? And here we find the brain, or the control center of the body. It is found within the head. And here we see the intestine, which are part of the digestive system. And that is what we are going to talk about today, digestive system. Actually, the digestive system begins from the mouth and into the oesophagus. But within the mouth, the teeth and the tongue are involved within digestion. The oesophagus continue down posterior to the heart. Here we have removed the heart in order to see the oesophagus and continue through the diaphragm. You get it? This is the diaphragm and then down it get connected to the stomach. This is the stomach. The stomach as well is connected to the small intestine. We will see all the part of the stomach and the function of every part of it. Here is the stomach and its three main parts and the function of every part. From the stomach, the digestive system continues down to the small intestine. All of this is the small intestine. Do you get it? All of it. Actually, it's the longest organ within the body. Now it's connected to the large intestine. It has what we call the colon. And we are going to see every part of it and the function. And here are the intestine and all their function. Good. You have seen how the digestive system and all the organs that are involved in the digestive system are arranged. Good. Now you can see, here we can say it is divided into, let me say, five main areas. As you can see on this diagram. So there is a blue color on top, that is oral cavity. Oral cavity means it is made up of the tongue, the teeth, and what we call uvula, where just the food will go and enter into the oesophagus through the phalanx and the larynx. Do you get it? That is the first part. The other part is the salivary gland. Sometimes this is not mentioned within the digestive system, but let me say the salivary gland is very important. As you can see, we have three main salivary glands. There is parotid gland. Do you get it? There is submandibular gland and sublingual glands. Those are the glands that will secrete the saliva. 
and the saliva will go into the mouth and helps in making food soft and make it easy for digestion. You get it? Okay, good. Now down food will go through the oesophagus. It's very easy. Now we go into the stomach. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. Also, liver was not mentioned, but liver is very important. It has what we call the gallbladder. The gallbladder is the one that has what we call the bile. Those bile, when they are secreted within the stomach, they help in digestion so much. Good. Another thing is pancreas. Pancreas also secrete what we call pancreatic acid. Do you get it? And pancreatic juice. The pancreatic juice comes in the acid and enters the stomach. Those one they work together with the bile and make easy digestion with the stomach. So they make easy for the stomach to quench the food because they make the food soft. They break down all the hard particles of the food. So that is pancreas. So after pancreas and the other part like the river and the gallbladder, we go to other two main organs of the digestive system. Those are the colon. Colon include what? The transverse colon, the ascending colon and descending colon. Those are part of the large intestine. And there is the small intestine. You get the small intestine and start from the duodenum, jejunum, then continue to the jejunum, then ileum. Ileum that goes and connect to the large intestine. Also, at the large intestine, there is something very important. Just below where the small intestine connect to the large intestine, there is sesam and appendix. So, from the large intestine, we go into the rectum and anus. Then the food is excreted outside the body. Do you get it? That is how it is, guys. So I think you have learned a lot about the digestive system. Good. Well, then we'll see you in another tutorial about anatomy and physiology on SRA TV lab. Keep enjoying and stay safe. May God bless you. All right. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope it is very helpful. So, please don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues and see you in another video next time may god bless you abundantly please support this channel by pressing like subscribe and the bell this is a huge support for this channel may god bless you